Hello all and welcome back. Today I would like to show you a strategy that I have been using for months and months that has just recently became viable again with the addition of new cosmetic items to the Dartmoor Fair in the latest patch at the beginning of March 2023. This method is now able to earn you more than 75,000 gold in literally under 10-15 minutes. Here is how it works. First, you need to create a new character. I'm going to create an alliance character, create an alliance character, if you would like to follow my steps as you go along. So we choose human and we choose hunter. Let's call this guy Dark Moon Money. Okay. And make sure that you choose your starting zone as North Shire Valley. Okay, once you have created your character, hop back into your main character, then purchase 100 Dark Moon Dagger Mall with your character. This will cost you about 900 gold at the moment. Send these Dark Moon Dagger Malls to the nearly character you have created. And go back and log into your new character. Once you're logged back into your new character, just open up your mailbox and get your dagger moves. And then what you want to do is make your way all the way up to Goldshire. Once you're in Goldshire, just find this portal here and enter the Dark Moon Fair. Once inside Dark Moon Fair, make your way all the way up to the end of the map. Once you're at the end of the map, find this NPC called Galissa Sandu and purchase this item treasure map this item will give you some quest and all you need to do for this quest is to go to certain places on the map and right click on certain mobs so allow me to show those locations to you location one is this satchel that can be found inside a boat at this point on the map so right click on this item get the note second clue can be found inside this sandbox in this particular location of the map it's this small like mount of sand so right click that the third clue can be found under this frozen guy in this location of the map the fourth clue can be found under this poster it's this small like undisturbed dirt here and it can be found in this location of the map and finally, the treasure can be found in this shipwreck at this point on the map. So you just open up this chest and get your reward. Which is 100 Dark Moon price tickets. Now that you have your 100 price tickets, here's what we're going to do with them. So come back to this guy that sells souvenirs and toys. He is in the middle of the map and purchase this item that sells for 78k at the moment and mind you that these prices have been updated literally two hours ago so they're very very up to date also on a side note if you happen to have some character which you haven't done this on and that character is above level 25 you can actually spend the tickets on these replica armor pieces which ultimately if you look at the prices sell for like much much higher than 75k gold now that we have made our purchase we can email it back to our main character and voila we now have this beautiful beautiful mace piece that we can just sell now you might be wondering about this very crucial thing if one is able to do this thing continuously why is the price on this item so high the reason being, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, people are actually very lazy and they don't want to do this at all. Well, I mean, that goes for pretty much any type of gold farm, right? You just, if you don't want to do anything, you don't do anything. Number two is that you can only do this for the duration of Dark Moon Fair, which is about six days in one month at the beginning of the month. Now, today's date is March 7th, and Dartmoor Fair ends on the 11th, and if you, do, if you remove one day, Wednesday, you have about three more days where you can do this event and get this item continuously and sell it. Well, 
Okay, folks, that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this. Go out there, farm this item, and have fun. Before I go, I just wanted to mention that only a very small portion of my viewers have actually subscribed to the channel. If you want to see more Mythic Plus runs, more DPS guides, more gold farms, and pretty much anything World of Warcraft related, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you do. Thanks so much, and stay frosty. Mm -hmm.